sample key test. What it is, how to run it, interpret it, and report it. Now, a peer sample key test is conducted when one wants to assess if due to certain intervention or certain process, there has been a change in respondent's behavior. For instance, here are a few situations when one could use peer sample t-test. A teacher wants to know if there is a significant change in students' scores after receiving training on SPSS or any other statistical package. A manager would like to know if the machine losses have decreased after installing the new equipment. A marketer would like to know if the sales of a particular product have increased after new marketing campaign. Or an educationist wants to investigate if teachers' satisfaction scores have changed after enhancing the work environment. In each of these scenarios, the respondents would remain same, but there is a before and after situation, and the data is collected after an intervention takes place. In this case, the intervention is receiving training on SPSS, in this case, installing the new equipment, in this case, a new marketing campaign, and in this case, enhancing the work environment. So, in each of the above mentioned scenarios, we could easily see that the researcher would like to see if there has been a change in the value of a continuous variable if measured on two different timings, like before and after. For change, we have one old value, that is before, which the new value is compared to. So, one value collected before the intervention and the one value collected after the intervention. Now, for instance, let's take the first scenario. Now, we want to calculate or evaluate the change in students' scores once they received a training on SPSS or any other statistical package. And once the training is undertaken, new scores will be recorded. New scores then compared to the old scores and to see whether this training has, help, uh, has helped the students improve their scores or not. In short, peer sample t-test, also referred to as repeated measures techniques, is used when responses of the same people are tested on different occasions under different conditions to check if there has been a change in their responses. Now, it's not just enough to calculate the change in responses or to see whether or not the change is significant or not. You will have to calculate the effect of the intervention. So, we calculate the effect size. We'll come back to this later. Now, how do you run this in Blue Sky Statistics? Now, here is how you can report them. We'll be looking at this uh, in detail. So, let's say here is some score. So, here are student test scores before taking training on the statistical package. And here are student test scores after taking training on the statistical package. Now, as a researcher, I would like to know if there if this change is significant and whether or not that intervention, that training on the statistical package has helped the students or not. Now, in order to do this, I will run paired sample t-test. How do I do this? Go to analysis, means, t-test, paired samples. The first variable is your before variable, the second is your after variable. In this case, the difference, so your alternate hypothesis is that there is a significant difference. So let's keep it difference is not equal to zero. So there has been a change in the difference scores. Just press OK. And here are your results. So before 50, 50, that's the sample size. The mean before was 6.12 and the mean after is 12.56. This means that the student scores have significantly increased. So the minimum was 0, the minimum was 0.12 in the after situation, the maximum was 11, and the maximum was 19 in after situation. This is the range, skewness kurtosis. This is your t-value, greater than 1.96, so it's significant. Uh, it's minus because obviously the mean difference is minus because the after value have got a higher mean scores. That's why it's negative here. And that's your, there is no zero in between. So this means that there are significant differences. True differences in means is not equal to zero, which means that your alternate hypothesis is accepted or supported. So let's uh, go to our results. 
So here, are, here is how you can report your results. So in this case, the problem is to assess the impact of training of statistical package on student test score. Your alternate hypothesis is there is a significant increase in student test score after training on the statistical package. Now, a paired sample t-test was conducted to evaluate the impact of statistical package training on student test scores. So the intervention is st statistical package. The results showed a significant increase in the marks of students before. So what was the mean before? It was 6.12. So here it is. 6.12 and after it was 12.56. So it is here after 12.56. And your t-value, this is your degrees of freedom and your t-value is minus 11.273. Here it is. Minus 11.273. And uh, if you are getting confused why it is 0.12, so there is a typo in here. It should have been 12 rather than uh, 0.12. So that's, that's something uh, if someone noted. Anyways, moving on. Okay, p-value is less than 0.001. Here is your p-value. Yes, it is less than 0 0.001. So it is even significant at 0.1%. The mean increase in the test score was, so what was the difference? How was the increase? So it's what, 6.445. The minus here does not mean that the score is decreased. The minus here is just because it is before minus after. So do not get confused by this. With 95% confidence interval ranging from minus 7.59, minus 7.59 to 5.29. The eta square, so this is your effect size. So how do you calculate effect size? Let's go in here and let's... Uh, so this is the formula for your eta square. This is your effect size. How, what, what was the impact of the intervention? So your t square plus n minus 1, so your degrees of freedom. Just add these value in here to the formula. This is your t value. So square of it would obviously change it to positive value and just calculate. So what you will get is 0 0.72. So what does this 0 0.72 means? According to Cohen 1988, this would mean the intervention had a large effect. In, the, in this case, your training intervention had a large effect in changing the student scores and this is how you report it now here is a table on how to report the results so this is how you can run paired sample t-test interpret paired sample t-test and report paired sample t-test i hope the video would have helped you understand what paired sample t-test uh, is and how to run it interpret it and reported. Thank you very much.